think it's quite interesting to draw a distinction between memory and remembering. Memory is, is interesting of itself, but uh, remembering is actually a creative act. And um, uh, I think it was Cicero, a Roman orator, who said you know, before the time of Christ that to be ignorant of those events which occurred before you were born is to, is to remain always a child. So that this remembering is about, that goes on in this work, is about the kind of long shadows cast by both the, the two great conflicts in the 20th century to which all of us actually are connected in some way or another. How I work is um, that I, I my, my, say my, my subject is about remembering something in the past. So I, I may visit the place that, where, the, where, where the events took place and I read around the subject and uh, I try and immerse myself in it. And at some point, a decision is made about, a formal decision about how, what shape the work might be, what size it might be, or, or, or how, you know, how, how it comes about. This picture, its particular size and its particular height uh, was intended to be evocative of the World Trade Center, the towers of the World Trade Center. Um, and the tomb of the the image of the diving figure on the tomb of the diver, I connected in my imagination with the images of people diving from the roof of the World Trade Center. Um, so there's, there's kind of links within the painting and it's kind of significant that it, that it, um, it has this size that perhaps evokes the towers. This is called Like a Man for Long Prepared. What interested me particularly about this was this, the formality of the image and the fact that it was very, that it was possibly one of the first photographs my father ever took. He obviously got a camera to take with him to the, when he went on active service overseas. And so um, on this idea of, of, it's like a found object. It's like something that's, that's lost and been found. And that's been a motif in my work repeatedly. My father was, was uh, involved throughout the whole duration of the Second World War. And um, after he died, uh, sorting through his, his, his um, the ephemera and the, the bits and pieces that he'd kept were a, were a stimulus in this work. Um, but it, 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 there's hardly anybody who you meet who hasn't had some relative who's, or some family connection and one of, the, one of the themes of the work, actually, is this memory slipping, is, is a, bit, a bit being lost. And in fact, it's, um, there isn't definition. It's impossible to sort of, it's, it's about something that's being lost. <laughs> 